my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, I'm kind of excited about tonight. Last week we did a beautiful piece called Spring Fire Roll and we were testing out Oatrol to see how that would work with my gel gloss pouring medium and I'm happy to say it dried beautifully and I was very very happy with that and that makes me very excited because we are teaching classes in Dublin, Ireland this summer and we're going to be using Oatrol or I'm going to be using Oatrol and the gel gloss as my pouring medium so I'm happy to say it dried beautifully and I'm super excited about that. So I have a little bit of those paints left that I want to use up. I have another one of these 16 inch ish hearts, wood panel hearts. This one's a half inch thick and we're going to pour on top of this. So let me move this over real quick and I'll show you what colors we're using. I'm also using these paint stands from Tracy Reed. You can find them on her Etsy shop. They are awesome. Paint levelers, I think she calls them. But if you have something that you can't put push pins in, that's an awesome option for you because they also elevate it off the ground and leave you room to get your hands underneath and just all kinds of good stuff. Okay, colors. The first one we're using, this one is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And this one dries so nice and dark and deep and rich. It's just absolutely lovely and creates beautiful contrast. In my almost five years now of painting, I have realized that that is the single most important thing that we deal with is contrast. As far as making your eye happy, contrast is key, very important. This one is Pebeo Studios Iridescent Red Blue, which has rapidly become one of my favorites. I love that magic trick that it does where it shifts. Can you see that sort of yep. bluish shift on there? I love that when it's dry, it's absolutely stunning. And I think this is gonna be really, really pretty with that blue violet. We also have some Pebeo Iridescent Orange Yellow, which is lovely. Nice and thick, creamy consistency. This is the Oatrol and Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss. With the gel gloss, you can also use the regular gel gloss or soft gel gloss. It's just going to give you a less, you would use less Oatrol then. With the heavy one, I use more Oatrol to thin it down, but I like thicker, creamier paint. This one, I'm not sure what color it started out as. I don't actually remember. <laughs> And I have thinned this one out a little bit more with some extra water. I'm going to use this as our base coat color. I think it's going to dry really, really pretty. Okay. And I have some 24 karat gold from Decolart Americana Decor Metallics. And I have some titanium white from Amsterdam. Okay. So let's go ahead and layer a cup keeping in mind that we're using that one as our base coat. And I think tonight, instead of doing a Wanderlust pour on here, I want to actually try that Wandering Ring pour that we did and maybe use my golf ball going through it again because I think that came out really, really pretty. And I want to see that with these colors. So we're going to start with a little bit of that Permanent Blue Violet. And we're going to go right into the Red Blue on top of that because I think it's going to be really striking next to each other. We're going to put a little bit of gold in there and a little bit of white and some of this very pretty orange yellow and then I'm going to put another layer of the red blue and the violet again. Gold, some of the orange, some of the red blue, a bit of white again. We could probably fit one more layer in there. be a pretty full cup <laughs> but that's okay we like full cups okay so to figure out how much paint you would need for a normal canvas you would multiply length times width and then divide by 28 in this case it's a little odd because it's not a square or a rectangle so based on the fact that they say this is a 16 inch heart I'm gonna use this 9 ounce cup and if we need more paint I can always put more paint down okay so now we're going to bring this back over here. Let's take this very pretty mauve color and we're going to put down a base coat. And I'm going to tilt it out. 
and I have thinned that one down just a little bit more. sides are covered. This is one of the more challenging things when something doesn't have push pins in it is it's harder to keep your paws out of it. Okay I did paint this white about an hour and a half ago. So whenever you're using something that's wood you definitely want to put down a base coat of either well, some kind of acrylic paint or gesso because the wood is porous and will soak the first layer of whatever you put on there. So when I put the first layer of white on there, you could barely see it at all because it just sucked it right in. So. any air bubbles that might be underneath the surface and bring them to the surface because you don't want them to come up to the surface while it's drying. You'll either end up with a divot or a bump, which is not an attractive thing in your painting. Okay, so we're going to do our wandering ring pour across this. And I don't know that I'm going to do two. I think I'm only going to do one. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my lord. Okay, we're going to start over here. Here we go. Wandering ring pour, we're gonna stay pretty close to the canvas and we're gonna ring it fairly quickly, but uniformly. All right. And I'm nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, HOA? Negative space or no negative space? I like negative space. Mm -hmm. I do too, but I kind of want to do the marble through there. I'm afraid if we have too much negative space, it's not going to show. I mean, it's not necessary. torch that again and then we're going to give it a go with the golf ball. I think it's really pretty though. I love those colors. I like that there's the red blue in there and that darker purple making the contrast with a little bit of white and the gold and the orange. Getting some blue in there too interestingly. That's cool. All right let's see. So I have my handy dandy trusty golf ball here. Oh I was going to torch it first. Let's 
over here. Are you done? Flat spots on the golf ball actually help a lot. What do you think? Oh, it's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I apologize. I had dental surgery the other day when we normally would have shot and did not. And you guys will see this video tomorrow. So. <laughs> I will not have dried results of this one for you at the end of this video, but I will show you in Sunday's video. Um, and hopefully we will have another one of our Goddess series happening on Sunday. I'm so glad you guys liked the last one, the story of Nui, the goddess of the night sky. That was a lot of fun. Thank you again to my sweet friend Fiona for the suggestion. If you guys, you guys have been awesome and have actually been leaving me some suggestions of goddesses. So I've been researching a lot and looking for the next one. That's going to be really fun. But if you have a goddess that you'd like to see me research and discuss, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to check it out. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you on Sunday. Good job.